like in this video I'm going to do a performance test with different size textures now I'm gonna start off at uh, half K textures move up to 1k then 2k then 4k the assumption is that larger textures will use more memory and will take a little bit longer to render and that's what I'm essentially going to test in this video and just so you know all these are half K textures and I have um, have it set to 1024 samples it's an interior scene there's only um, something like five textures total so it's not going to be a complicated scene but I'm doing that mostly just to lessen render times I'm not spending all day doing this and but it should be enough to where if there is a hit on performance with larger textures you should be able to see it in these tests all right uh, I am rendering this out like I said 1024 samples and the frame size is 1920 by 1080 all right now let me go ahead and render this and just so you know um, I am using a 3080 Ti to render this and I'm going to use a 3080 Ti in all the uh, test scenes which it's going to be all the same test scene but with different size textures <laughs> And also all the normal maps and so forth are the same size you know basically five the half K all the normal maps and so forth are half K textures 1k all the normal maps and so forth are 1k textures and so on and so forth all right took 56 minutes and 57 seconds let me uh, downsize this and I'm going to open up the project that has it's the same project but with 1k same uh, textures give it a minute to load up all right and once again see 1k textures for some reason that's set to to ev which we don't want ev all right here we go now i'm going to go ahead and click render I'm gonna double check this first make sure it's still set to the 3080 Ti render image so if my theory is correct it should take just slightly longer to render with uh, 1k textures versus half K textures and then we'll get more into the the nitty-gritty of it and how much memory it uses compared to each one and so forth whenever we get done rendering these scenes Well, as we can see, going from half K to one K textures, it barely made any difference. It's less than a half a, less than one second difference. So let's go ahead and open up the two the project with two K textures. And I want to go ahead and for some reason to save these in Eevee. I don't know why. All the settings are the same, but for some reason I've done that. I'm not sure why. All right. As you can see here, 2K textures. Make sure it's the same GPU again. Render image.
Now, I am fairly certain that if we see any significant difference in terms of render times and performance, the more textures you have, the greater that difference is going to be. Now, this scene, it's, it's a very, very simple scene. There's not a whole lot of textures in it, but that's mostly me just trying to save time. So keep that in mind whenever you're using image textures. The more of them, the longer it's going to take, period. And the more exaggerated this difference in performance will be when using larger textures and using a lot of textures. All right, jumped up to 59 seconds. Let's go to the 4K textures. Now, originally I was going to do 8K, but I don't have 8K textures for these textures. So I ended up creating a project that didn't really work. So here's the 4K and we'll run this test. And for some reason, it's probably an EV. Not sure why. Same same render settings. Go to the materials, 4K textures, and double check the GPU. Make sure that hadn't changed. Render image. All right, took one minute and one second. So let me go ahead and re or open up the rest of these so we can uh, see them. Now I'm just going to drag this down so we can see the times or the stats. And do the same thing with this one. And do the same thing with this one. Let me double check. Half K. Uh, 1K, 2K, 4K. All right, so it was about a second difference going from half K to 1K and about two seconds difference going from 1K to 2K and then about two more seconds difference going from 2K to 4K. Now, the interesting thing is going is the memory. Going from half K to 1K, it took, yeah something like about 20 percent now i actually about uh about 50 megabytes more and but going from uh 1k to 2k took a couple hundred megabytes more but going from 2k to 4k took about 800 megabytes more so my what I take away from this is that the performance in terms of how quickly it can render is going to take a smaller hit compared to the amount of memory VRAM that uh, it's going to take in order to render. So can you imagine how much memory it would take if you had a bunch of 8K textures? It would take a huge amount of memory because I mean it it went up to just under two gigabytes of uh, memory um, and that's just with you know like four 
4K textures and this is a simple scene. Now granted I do have an HDRI in the scene which is going to use up uh, some memory. Now I didn't bother replacing the HDRI with uh, like 1K or 2K or whatever. I'm just used to 4K HDRI in all of these. But I hope that comparison will give you some idea of how um, much of a hit in performance you will get by increasing texture size and how definitely how much hit it will take in terms of how much more VRAM your GPU will need in order to in order to use larger textures and if you was to have a couple dozen textures you could easily run into issues where 12 gigabytes of uh, VRAM isn't enough if you're using um, um, 4k textures but anyway hope you found this interesting later people